today we've got pasta bake, so it's a ragu with mince, pasta, we've got baked potatoes, we've got tuna mayonnaise filling, we've got cottage cheese filling, oh and salad. <laughs> and then we've got apple crumbles with homemade ice cream or cream or almond slice. We'd plan to just run through the colder weather months and give some people a place to come and, and to stay warm and to have some hot food, during, particularly during those winter months. But as the warm space grew, we just realised that people were finding this more useful than just the warm space. It was the friendships that were developing, it was the sitting together and eating a meal with company and not being on your own. All our food that we cook the meals from are from surplus foods that the supermarkets are not using or at the end of dates. We don't put any emphasis on the fact that you take this food because you can't afford food. This food, if it is not taken, would go into landfill. And that is what we're saying. You are actually helping the planet by coming to warm space, by eating fresh food, which would otherwise be thrown away, and by taking things uh, off the table or for any surplus food that we have, you are actually helping the planet. It's all free. It's all come from Sainsbury's, Lidl's, Aldi and Co-op. We've got a little band of volunteers that go every day and pick up all the stuff. They bring it here. We've bought a new freezer and we're having a new fridge and we keep it all and then we keep what we think will be you know, good for a lot of people and the rest goes out and people can take it home. So Thursdays and Fridays, it just gets distributed to whoever wants it. There's lots of leeks in there, so next week I'm gonna make um, potato and leek and ham bake because we've got lots of stuff. And I've got bread and butter puddings at home in the freezer that we made last week because we had lots of bread and eggs. So it really is dependent on, on what we get. For me, they just turn anything into everything. They just use everything. It's amazing. I mean, I, I thought I was a cook till I met these ladies. <laughs> We're thrilled. There's no question about it. We're just thrilled with the way the community have come together. People are always volunteering to help. You can guarantee it. Somebody in the village has said, oh, I'll make cakes this week. That's lovely. And what has not surprised us, but thrilled us, is the number of men, single men, who've joined the groups. We'll often have maybe one, two tables just full of single men able to come. It's a complete really and the meal, actually. It's good, you know. Just company and um, it's always great food here. And we're all well speaking, so we speak. Um, and there's been a bit of a natural in Welsh. I enjoy the company. I've met people in the village that I've never seen before and I've made new friends. Brilliant. And of course, the food is excellent. <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh. It's wonderful. It's like it's like a big family. Yeah. We look forward to a Thursday. Um, good company, good food, and, it, and that family. It's that community spirit. The food here is lovely. We really enjoy coming. It's really, it's a lifeline. Is it? Yes, it in, is. In yes. Yes, it's, you know, my husband hasn't been well and it's just a lifeline for us. They've got a whist group going on, they have dominoes, all sorts of things. In the term times, the children come every week from us called Hentlan and they join in and they have our lunch. So they, the children that are learning Welsh, practice their Welsh with the Welsh speakers and the children that are Welsh speakers practice their English with the English speakers. It's perfect, it's just lovely. I think it's really important that, you know, we're seen as being there for the community and it, it sort of opens the doors then to let people come for other services that we have on. Um, quite a lot of the people that do attend are part of our congregation and some of them maybe they don't make it to church as often as they used to, but often they'll sit together and they'll have a chat and they'll have a chat with Reverend Martin and it meets people's needs in different ways and I think it helps us to still have a presence in the community. Um,